So, are we ready to move on to the next thing? <laughs> Why I said that in that voice, I wish I knew. Uh, how's it going, everyone? My name is Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. I almost forgot to toot the horn there. <laughs> Did I talk to you last time about the Bonte? Yes, I did. Okay. Can I claim merits at all? No, I can't. Okay, I came in here for nothing. I forgot what I did last time. Okay, shut up. Alright, well, I guess it's time for progression, then. Look, bro, are you just standing there waiting for me? Stop it. First of all, I want this. I know it doesn't give me very much, but you know what? <sighs> Was that woman just clapping her hands? <laughs> okay. Hi. Excuse me, are you Mr. Rashad? Yes, I am. Mr. Rashad, sir, I need you to teach me magic. I need you to teach me the most powerful spells there are, so I can defeat Shadar. Defeat Shadar? You? Yes, sir. That was rushed. Your journey has been wasted. I no longer pray for magic. Huh? But why not? I thought you were one of the four great sages who knows everything there is to know about magic. It matters not what I was. I use magic no more. Whoa, stop rushing it, dude! Is she... Um... What do you want? Brokenhearted? Yeah. Who are you? Jeepers. The poor thing's brokenhearted, looks like. Oh, it's worse than that, I think. Shudar is still a piece of her heart. It was my fault. I defied him and to punish me, he took me back. Yeah, that, 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 that is brutal. I cannot risk my child's life. I will not. That's understandable, actually. <laughs> and live out my days in peace. This is not peaceful! Rashad, sir, you're wrong. She wouldn't want this. She's not in pain because a piece of her heart was stolen. It's because you gave up fighting. That's because probably part of the reason, fighting. actually, yeah. That's why she's in pain. Hmm. You are sure I guess he would know, wouldn't he? I see. Oh boy. I see now that you would say anything to enlist my aid. What the hell? Yeah, that's exactly drippy. I wasn't trying to. <sighs> Freddy wasn't wrong. It looks like Shadar's stolen a part of the poor dab's heart. But we have to help her. We have to make her heart whole again. Nah, looks like I said this is different. Wait. Oh. Her heart's not just broken, it's closed. Closed? What is that? How do you open a closed heart? She's not just had a part of her heart stolen, she's closed it up tight too. It's not like I can just, I'm not gonna like rip open her body, just say, hey, a little piece of heart, it's, I'm not, she's not a tinker toy, it's not like she, <laughs> or maybe she is, I don't know, maybe that's how you fix her. She's a freaking tinker toy. What's going on with her So we head over you away and find I mean, she's about as dead as a tinker toy. Alright, let's do it. Right, though. Back to you wait, world it is. Wait, wait, where, where are we going back to my world? I, well, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was talking too much about the fact that she's a tinker toy. W w what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to go get a wrench? Maybe, like a monkey wrench or a hammer, maybe? Maybe that's all I gotta do. Just go grab a hammer. Work! Dang it, work! <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Wait, what did you say? Go, oh, you're saying different th I should really be listening to the dialogue. Smell that smoke. Spicy as you like run by here in it. That's exotic. How does that have anything to do with what we're supposed to be doing, Drippy? Yes, let's cast Gateway and get the hell back over to the other. Oh my goodness. Well, time time to get my tinker tools. <laughs> I gotta fix this tinker toy pronto. So, what stops such, eh? You remember how this works, ain't it, Holly boy? It's all about spotting the similarities. Someone around by here is someone who's similar to young Esther in some way. Now, what girls do you know? 
Um, do I have to answer that question? <laughs> Can I just stick this in my mouth? Does that count? What is is this part of it? Is this a tinker tool? Maybe 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 she'll just get maybe she'll open up her heart again if I just do this. Is it working? <laughs> wow. G girls? There's only one person that matches Esther, dude. How do you not know it off the bat? Actually, quite honestly, I don't even remember her name. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I don't really talk to girls. I mainly talk to Phil. Wow. Crikey. Well, that's no good, is it? Probably going to do this. Uh, I'm sure there's somebody she reminds me of. She should. Can't quite put your finger on it, is it? Never mind. If brain work won't work, leg work will. Let's go for a stroll around town and see if we can spot Esther's soulmate. That way, shall we? Sure, why not? Okay, Mr. Jibby, let's go find that girl. <laughs> Oh goodness, I don't think that's a phrase I've ever heard anybody but you say, Oliver. <laughs> What's her name again, though? It's the girl who locks herself up in her room. What's her name? Hey, I just thought... What's up, Mom? You having a nice time thinking about girls, is it? Can I smack you with my freaking tinker tool, please? <laughs> Huh? No, I just... When I used to come here to Phil's garage, there was a girl. She was always looking at us from her window. Yes, yes. From her window, eh? Sounds like a proper shrink environment. I, I guess so. That's the window up there. And there she is. <laughs> hey, wait, whoa, 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 that's her, Mr. Drippy. Flippin' heck, Ollie boy. Why didn't you think of her straight away? She's the spitting image of her mom. Huh? <sighs> really, Oliver? Why did we come here in the first place? Who do you think? Who do you flippin' think, you blockhead? The great sage's daughter, ain't it? The one who's obviously her flippin' soulmate. Yeah... It's that obvious? I... I... I never noticed. Maybe I need to hit you with the Tinker Toy, Ollie. Forget the tools, hit him with the freaking toy itself. Maybe that'll fix up the Tinker Toy. Just hit Oliver with it. You sure have good eyes, Mr. Trippy. She was only in the window for a second. Never underestimate the razor sharp eyes of a fairy. My boy, spot a speck of dust on the head of a pin, I could. Okay, fair enough. I'll believe it. Anyway, it's up, and no mistake. Let's go and barge our way into her bedroom. Uh, okay. Alright, cool. Let's go. Just barge our way in. Don't even bother trying to knock. Just like, hello, that is the wrong house. I knew that. <laughs> hello, that's still the wrong house. No, it's not. <laughs> that one I actually didn't know. <laughs> Can I just bang the Tinker Toy against the door? Will that work? Oh, wait. Tinker Toy can't leave the world, the other world up. Right. Hmm. It's no good. There's no answer. Something the matter, dear? There's nobody home, you know. I beg to differ. Uh, I need to speak to the girl who lives here. You're a friend of Myrtle's? Yes, Myrtle, thank you. I forgot her name. <laughs> oh, you poor dear. You must be awfully worried about her. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You guys can't read it, but Oliver's saying exactly what I literally just said. Oh my, you haven't heard? 
Well, just between you and I, things haven't been going so well for Myrtle's family lately. <clears throat> How come? Her father works every hour of every single day. Nothing but work, work, work. He's never at home anymore. Oh boy. Such a shame. Rusty was always such a devoted father. But something has happened to him. He's changed. I heard him shouting at them through the walls. Oh gosh. I don't know how poor Betty copes. I don't know how poor Betty copes. Let alone young Myrtle. Such a shame. Yeah, no kidding. Betty is... That's right, dear. She's Rusty's wife. She's every bit as devoted to him as she always was. Why, only this morning, I heard her promising to bring his lunch to him down at the garage. Oh, man. All the love she pours into those sandwiches. It's enough to break your heart. Why, I'm welling up just thinking about it. Such a kind soul. Poor, poor Betty. I have half a mind to tell that Rusty Cartwright just how lucky he is. You should! Jeepers! Oh, just listen to me gossiping on and on. Do ignore me, dear. I'm just a silly old woman. Well, it's not gossiping if it's facts, is it? I never really considered that gossiping. I just consider that spreading of the truth. Say hello to Myrtle for me, won't you? Uh, oh, oh, okay. Cracky. Sounds like things are none too rosy in the Cartwright household. Eh? Mr. Drippy, we can't leave her like that. We have to help her. We have to help Myrtle. That's easier said than done, Oliver. She's not coming out of for a chat, and we're not getting in unless we go magicking the door open. Right. We should use magic to... Th yeah, let's, let's go ahead and just barge in. Just, you know, that's fine. Again, forget the tinker toy, forget the tinker tool. Let's just do willy-nilly shenanigans. I'm the only one who knows how. I'm the only one who can go in there and speak to her. You sure you want to be doing this one? It's breaking and entering. When Mom died, I... If you hadn't taken me over to your world when I thought I was all alone... If you hadn't helped me, I'd still be alone right now. That's why we have to help Myrtle. This kid is smarter than he looks sometimes. And then sometimes he's dumber than he looks. <laughs> you gotta make up your dang mind, dude. If we don't, she'll be left staring out of her window. Okay, he's wiser than he looks. He's still pretty dumb, though. <laughs> I didn't finish that, did I? He's even dumber than he looks. <laughs> and he don't look too smart anyway, so that's not saying very much. That's justification enough for a bit of breaking and entering, in my book. Let's get in there. Okay, Mr. Jibby. Yeah, we'll break the law because we're alone. That makes sense. Huh? It won't open. Uh, what? Eh? That's proper weird. A rubbish little lock like that should have popped undone. Easy peasy. Mm, mm, what are you doing, Drippy? I'm not making that sound. What are you doing, Drippy? Ah, oh, Drippy, don't be... Oh, gosh, Drippy, pull your pants up. <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Dr oh, my gosh. Never mind. <laughs> it's this door, man. This door's making me want to crap my pants. Now I've got no toilet around here. I gotta do it somehow. <laughs> Drippy needs to take a dump. <laughs> what the hell? What is wrong with me? <laughs> there is an evil spell protecting it. Your spell didn't fail. It was repelled by a malevolent. Malevolent Foss. Repel? Deepers? Must be that girl I knew. Ah, I think that- no, I- 
Dude, I think the malevolent force is the smell of what you just did. <laughs> you think? So, what do we do? Uh... Phone, why'd you go off? Why did you go off, Phone? Oh, that's why. Okay. Well, I didn't need to know that. I'll tell you what we don't do. Carry on trying to get in by the front door. It's not exactly polite just barging into people's houses anyway. Now you say that? You're right. I guess we'll have to find some other way. And let me guess, P is just right outside the walkway. If I remember... Call it! <laughs> that was... H Hi, P. You want me to go back over there? But it stinks over there! P? Hey, maybe... Eh? What's going on, little boy? You're asking me? Maybe P knows something. Eh? eh? What the flippin' heck's going on? Oh, oh gosh. Here we go again. Oh, no, no, Drippy, don't do it again. No! Alright, Drippy, you stay here. I'm gonna... No, no, no Drippy, stay. You, you, I know you've got to shart your pants. Stay here. No, Drippy. Here. Hey. Hey, Poochie, could you, uh... Could you watch over Drippy for me? Okay, alright, sorry. Ah, dang it! Alright, fine. But I swear, Drippy, if you shart... If you shart while I'm in front of this little lady... I'll make you regret it. Hi. Oliver, you have to go in there. Okay, alright, alright. It's open. How the flip? Did you do another spell on us or something? Yes, Drippy. There's a reason I told you to stay back there. You didn't see it, but I zip-zoomed right over here while you were taking your shark back over there, and I came back, and you didn't notice it, but I actually unlocked the door. I've just been trying to fool you. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. It was a... <sighs> you know what? You're right. I should have lied to him. <laughs> uh... Magic Fairy Girl vanished. I don't know how to feel about that. Never mind all that. Let's get in there, shall we? There's a damsel in distress up there, man. Yup. Hi, Myrtle. Hello, Myrtle. Hey, Hi, Myrtle. My name's Oliver. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh, 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 hold, hold the phone. Hold the flip. What? <laughs> I'm just gonna barge into your house. You know, uninvited. I, I'm just... I'm not even going to get parental permission. I'm just going to barge in and then confront you and just say, Hey, I'm not crazy. <laughs> totally not. No, that, that's crazy. It's crazy to think I'm crazy. You're crazy. Maybe I'm a little bit, but you're more. <laughs> oh, boy. I need to splash water in my face. Or I'm, I really am going to go crazy. <laughs> okay, I think I'm better. <laughs> I know. I've seen you. You have? I'm sick. Okay, I go all the trouble to make the joke that I'm crazy and you say I'm not. If I go outside, it hurts. So all I can do is look out at the world from my window. My brain! <laughs> Don't worry, man. No one can hear me but you. I can talk as loud as I want. Yes, that's why they call me Staring Mary. Huh? What can the? F that's what they call me around here. But you knew that already. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I. You are not supposed to be able to hear him. I'm weird, don't you? No, I, I don't. Ah, oh, stutter all you want, I dude. I don't mind. But you should go. Before my father comes home. Oh boy. Uh, Come here a sec. This is proper weird. It's not as hard as I know how. 
but she doesn't seem sick at all. She's as fit as a fiddle, in fact. I mean, you can tell? I'm Lord High Lord of the Fairies, and I, of course I can tell. So what is Okay. That means so much. Whatever sickness she had might be gone, but something still got a hold over the poor damsel. Hmm. The pro is, if I were to guess, it's probably the absence of her actually kind-hearted father or something. Knowing this kind of situation. Okay, Myrtle. Huh? Shh, don't tell your dad. We can do so many things together that your dad doesn't need to know about. How does that sound? You know, like play dress up, <laughs> eat cookies. Ah, oh, come on! I wasn't even done with the list. Just don't invite Drippy. He uh. It's just like you said, Mr. Drippy. It's almost like Myrtle and Esther are the same person. Ain't it though? They could be twinsmen. I knew they were soulmates. The moment I laid eyes on her. But she ain't broken hearted. There's something else stopping her from getting better. From... Yeah, that. I, for some reason, I thought I read that wrong. It must be her parents. Her family is... If that old gossip is to be believed, yeah? Sounds like her folks ain't getting on too well. Yeah... But our family squabble's really the kind of thing we want to get... Getting mixed up in all Oh. Oliver, are you talking to yourself? Wow. Both Ollie and Drippy are really crazy today, I swear. Dr Drippy's just sharding all over the place, and Oliver's just talking to himself. Why are the main protagonists crazy? Anyway. <laughs> Drippy, you're the one who's supposed to say this. But... But I just got to- No, Drippy, hold it in. Ugh. But our family squabble's really the kind of thing we want to get- Getting mixed up in, are they, boy? Maybe not, but we have to help Myrtle. Family's important. It's epic- Wow. I second that notion, and I have a video. If I remember, a card in the eye icon in the top right. Um points out what I'm referring to, I've made a video on this, so I agree. <laughs> well, since you put it like that, go on then. Let's help the poor dad out. Next stop, Rusty's shop. Again, if I remember. Let's go, Mr. Drippy. Because I forget things way too much. Are we done being crazy? We better be. Rusty's shop is just here, isn't it? Yeah. This here's this here must be my Rusty's garage. I got a bad feeling in my lantern about this. You'd best make sure you you really are crazy. Who the hell gets a feeling in a lantern? Then again, you're the only one who I know who has like a lantern ear, nose ring, so I guess that's an exception. <laughs> You must make sure you're good and ready before you go in. Thanks, game, for telling me that I have a boss coming up. <laughs> I got a lot of... Uh-oh. I got one iced coffee! This is... Oh, this is not good. Let's, uh... We're gonna head back for a sec. I know, I know. This is like, this, this isn't particularly grinding. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to the shop and buy some stuff. Some stuff that can upgrade me. Hopefully it does something good. And for once, I actually need to go in here. It's not unintentional this time. A customer? I don't mean to crow, but our wares are the finest in life. Right? You're not a... What was that? A chicken? Right? I, I don't freaking know. Don't get caught short. Now, grab some more exclusive items before they fly out the door. Alright. Okay. 
So that's not going to do me any good. Bravely Batch. I'm going to get one of those. Equip it on you. Equip it on me. I'm going to equip this one. Okay, I think we're good. For these prices, we must rave be raving mad. Come again soon. Huh? I guess. Is that the right sound? I have no idea. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go to the boutique and then head back to where we were before. Because I do want to get some items. Some coffee. I must have me my coffee before going into battle. That one coffee, that's water. But you know, same difference. Hi. Hmm? Who's there? Oh, hello. Who can I help you today? We have a huge range of goods in our mouth. Hi. I came for the iced coffee. I'm only allowed one. This is bull! Fine. How much are these? I don't have enough months? Oh, fine. Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna get a bunch of chocolate and give it to our buddy here. Yeah, that's right. I'm really pre-prepping for something like this. He's only... Oh. You're only allowed one batch. That one's more important to me. Oh. Oh, okay then. Oh, I... I knew that. Time to go to the cage and give this guy all the chocolate. He's gonna have all of it. Oh, I know you love it. Give him all the chocolate. Give him all the chocolate. Ugh. <sighs> Come on, buddy. You can now increase Mighty's abilities up to 20 times. I'm considering that's probably a good thing? Maybe? Is that a good thing? Is that a good thing? I don't know. Meow. Yeah. Ah, oh, you're full. What? All right, time to take on this next thing, my Jake. Let's go back. Hopefully I'm good. I'm kind of concerned that I won't be, but at the same time it's like, eh, we'll do fine. Why it spawns me here every time, I don't get. Well, actually I do get, but I don't get, but I do and I don't. At the same time, I don't know. I feel like the crazy from the protagonists are going into my head. 
I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not crazy. <laughs> Where am I going? Okay, this way. Good, golly, I know what I'm doing. I am running into a wall. Totally feasible thing to do. Totally. <sighs> All right, let's go. I probably should have saved first. That does not look friendly. This must be Rusty's garage, eh? Oliver? And that must be him over by there. I guess so, huh? Uh, excuse me, sir? Are you Myrtle's father? I came to ask about her. Can't you see I'm busy? Beat it, kid. Wow. Eh? What's that swirling around him? Nah. Can't be. Can't be. I don't know how he says that. Hi, Betty. Um. Honey, I brought your lunch. Not this again. I'm not hungry. Wow. Honey, if you don't eat, you'll get sick. Said I'm not hungry. Oh. No. Okay, honey. Just look after yourself, please. I can't say how many times I've heard stories of this kind of conversation IRL happen. It's retarded. So, that was Myrtle's mom, huh? You too. Get out of here. Before I throw you out. But, but sir, we... Oh, boy. Crikey. Look at those eyes. Broken as heck, his heart is. He's heartbroken? He's heartbroken? I'm you, I'm you, Drippy. It's a guy, think. <laughs> but he's not from your world, Mr. I think it doesn't matter, dude. Let's worry about that later. For now, we know what the problem is. We need to mend Rusty's broken heart, ain't it? Ah. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I don't know if I'm ready for this, but okay. All right, I'm not given a choice. A nightmare? You mean like a bad dream? Nah, man. Much worse. My nightmare's an evil spirit that latches onto broken. Okay. If I can say these words right. A nightmare's an evil spirit that latches onto the broken hearted. See that black misty stuff? That's how you know. Knickers. The mist is getting darker. It can mean only one thing, and it ain't good news. Oh boy. Hi. <laughs> Can we just talk this out? Okay, I guess not. All right, well. Um. <laughs> to you too. Oh, this guy's going down in seconds. Look at his health just drain. Completely disregard the purple dots everywhere. Uh-oh. Purple dots don't matter. They're, they're just there for show. For, ow. Okay, I guess not. Let's, uh, freeze you, please. Whoa! Uh oh. Nope. Uh-uh. That ain't happening. You ain't doing that to me. Ha 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 ha. You suck. And you missed. 
most of these nightmares, I need you to focus on, uh, on, on dying. Could you do that for me? <laughs> oh yeah, this guy's going to go down. It's, dude, this guy's going down in moments. Usually it takes me a long time to beat any of the nightmares. I'm kind of glad I pre-prepped and I'm doing all this side stuff because, quite frankly, I'm not used to doing that. Actually, this right here is why, because I never... Ugh. I am poisoned. I am going to take that. Ow. Yeah, this guy's dead. This guy's dead as a freaking doornail. See? We're done. <laughs> Brush it off. It only took like one or two minutes to beat this guy. <laughs> Usually, it seriously, usually takes me a lot longer. I guess I got lucky. Someone poke him with the stick and make sure he's alive. <laughs> Honey. Mm, Betty, stay for. Oh, you've got to be joking. His heart is still broken. Cossetus. We only got the nightmare month. Mending his heart's a whole nother problem. Uh, Mr. Jimmy, these nightmares? Where are they? Well, they're sort of like beasties. Only they are born from the broken hearts. And they latch onto them and sort of possess them. See? Oh, okay. And Shadar is behind the nightmares too? Look at him, only boy. Him and Rashad are like peas from the same part, ain't it? Okay, yeah, true. What Shadar's done is, he's got the better of Rashad over in our world by attacking his soulmate over by here in your world. That's just awful. He's attacking people in my world now? Looks like it, eh? Oh my gosh, looks like it, eh? And if we don't mend his heart... No, oh, excuse me. He might get taken over by another nightmare. See, now who's looking get Gatsy? Oh, shut up, Drippy! We need to sort. We need to sort this out, Ollie boy. All right. Yeah. Okay. Protagonists are crazy. These protagonists are now officially crazy. You saw what he was like before, in it. It's pretty obvious that he, what he was missing, is a man-sized helping of kindness. Kindness. Gee. That's right. Anyone overflowing with the milk of human kindness bring to mind Ollie. Let me guess, Betty. A real kind person, huh? Honey, oh honey, you okay? Talk to me, please. Well, well, well. Sometimes the thing you're looking for plops itself down right on your doorstep. There's lucky. I guess so. You guess so. Why, you're you're Ali's son. Uh, yes, that's right. I I have something to ask you. Is this card right? Could I borrow a little of your kindness? Hmm? I'm sorry, dear. I don't think I quite... I need it to make Mr. Cartwright better. Please. I need it so that I can help him. I really don't have the first idea of what you're talking about. But if it stands even the smallest chance of helping my husband, then sure, I'll do it. Thank you so much, Mrs. Cartwright. We're going to have this for, like, one... Maybe 30 seconds. The warm, fuzzy gift of generosity. That's how you describe it? What did you do? I feel almost warm inside. That's, that's a good thing. <laughs> Tidy. That means it worked, ain't it? Now give it to Rusty. Does it good, lad? Okay. Betty, just, just leave me alone, will you? Come on, lad. Hurry up. Hunt over the kindness before we have another flippin' nightmare on our hands. Uh, okay. Sure! Okay. Did that do a thing? Did that help with the thing? What are you doing? Oh, honey. Betty, what am I doing here? Did you, did 
do something with your hair? Oh, Rusty. <laughs> You're looking very handsome yourself, honey. Tidy, it worked. Ah, Merit of Blissey. That is lovely. Excuse me, uh... You! Don't! You really are crazy! Get out! Oi, what do you think you're doing? This is no time be to be interrupted. Let's leave them to it and go and tell Myrtle everything's back to normal with our fox, shall we? I, I guess you're right. Let's go. Um, how about next time? I'm gonna leave this video here because we hit the end of the video at this point anyway. Hopefully I remember to put that eye icon because I forget every time I try. <laughs> If I did, well, here's some links on the side of my head to different stops that this train has taken prior to this game. Speaking of though, if you did like this video, make sure to push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really like to consider subscribing to the channel, because we do nostalgia trips like this all the time. As I said before, want to check out what I've done prior to this particular uh, game. Stop will be across from my head here. This one, if you've missed anything up until this point, would be in the top right hand corner. In the meantime, I'm gonna head off, but we hope to. This train is off to another destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!